Hi there, it's Steve again. If you've been watching my videos uh, the last few weeks, then you'll know that I've been away from YouTube for about 10 years, but I've decided to do some vlogging and I've been trying to decide what to shoot with. Uh, initially I was uh, shooting with my Canon 6D, which is what I'm using today, uh, but it's limited to 1080p video and uh, I thought I was going to need some higher res stuff than that, at least at times. And the Canon 6D doesn't have image stabilization. So if you watched my last video, you'll know that what I'm shooting with now is my phone, my Pixel 2 phone, which can do 4K video, it's image stabilized, uh, and it's been working pretty well. I bought this uh, Ulanzi video rig, which lets me mount my phone in it so I can get a little better control over it. And um, the one problem I've still got is I often have a need to shoot some B-roll, some additional footage besides what my phone is shooting. And something like a GoPro would be perfect for that, but GoPros are insanely expensive. They're uh, like $400 or something. Um, so I think I may have found something though. It's uh, uh, a little less expensive and Actually, according to Amazon, it ought to be arriving any moment now, so I'm actually going to go check and see if it's here, and I will be right back. New toys! Okay, so... Here's my new box, my new toy. Uh, it's got a nice uh, warning on it saying that it has lithium ion batteries. So what this is, uh, I've got a, uh, a Casa V50X camera in this box. And we're going to unbox it, open it up, see what's in here. go and I don't know exactly what comes with these but uh, it should just be a little action camera okay let's get that box out of the way and here we go v50x Akasa so let's see if we can get this plastic off and wrap that And a safety seal. Let's get the safety seal off. Excellent. And can we get it open? Does not want to come open. There we go. Okay. Piece of packing material. Another piece of packing material. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay, packing material down there, box down there. So, little camera. Now, how do we get this sucker out of here? Looks like we have to open up this side. Aha! Lots of little parts. Okay, I know what this is. That's a little wrist control. Camera mount, quick start guide, instructions are always good, branding, a cable, another mounting device, another mounting device, another mounting device. That looks like a bicycle mounting device. More mounting devices. A wrist strap. Probably a head mounting device. Another mounting device. Battery charger. Velcro. A battery. Another battery. A piece of plastic. 
Okay, I've zoomed the camera in to get a little bit better view. I'll try to get closer in a moment. And let's see if we can get this guy off of here. Let's remove the little piece of safety material. Let's squeeze the clamps together. It's moving. There we go. Okay, so the camera is in its waterproof case. Uh, let's see if we can pop it out of there and see the camera by itself. And there it is. So I'll get a closer view in a moment, but uh, that's the quick view. We can see it's got a lens there, a button, two buttons on the side. It's got a little screen on the back, some connectors, tripod mount. So uh, this is significantly cheaper than a GoPro. Uh, you can buy one of these for well under a hundred bucks on Amazon. Uh, I'll include a link in the video so you can check that out. And I've read some reviews online that indicate it's not perfect, it may have some problems, and uh, we'll find out as I review it over the next couple of videos. But uh, I think it may do what I want, so let's see if we can get a little closer. Okay, so hopefully this is a better view of the camera for you. Uh, we've got the lens covered by the little protective film, which we will remove. So there's a mode, also looks like a power button on the front. Uh, on the top, maybe that's the power button. We'll find out when I read the instructions. Uh, that's the microphone, the four little holes. And if you've seen other reviews for this camera on YouTube, you'll know that there are potentially some issues with the microphone. So we'll find out soon about those. Uh, over here we see what I assume these are the menu buttons. Uh, on the back we have the uh, screen. Let's peel the film off of that. Uh, then on the bottom a standard tripod mount. I assume this is the battery door. So the next step will be to charge up some batteries and see if we can make it work. Okay, so this appears to be the charger, and I believe we have a cable here for it. With requisite twist tie, let's get that off. Okay, USB port on that side. Micro USB on this side, I'm assuming that plugs in right there. All right, so this looks like a battery. Let's see if we can open him up. That obviously goes right there. And here we have battery number two. Interestingly, that one is open already. Let's put him in this side. Now we just need to apply power. Okay, unfortunately I'm using a little Intel NUC computer and if you'll notice the little yellow USB port on the front, that one is a high powered port designed specifically for charging things. So it looks like our batteries are now charging. Okay, while the batteries charge up, uh, let's get on to the next thing. Uh, it's important when you buy any kind of camera like this to also get the recommended memory storage device. And the the particular SD card that I got is the exact model recommended by Acaso for the Acaso V50. So hopefully this card will be fast enough to keep up with the 4K video and maybe if I'm lucky I won't have any audio sync problems which a few people have reported but we'll 
find out soon enough. So I'll put a link to the memory card in the video as well for anybody who wants it. All right, having rustled the SD card out of its packaging material, we're going to attempt to insert it in the camera right here. Let's see what we can do. It's always tough getting these tiny little cards in. That looks like it did it. So our SD card is now loaded. Okay, one of our batteries is now charged up, so I'm going to insert it. And we're going to get a quick look at the menus, hopefully, assuming we can power it up. Okay, so according to the instruction manual, that's the power button. And I believe if we press that... There you go. So, it's in 4K 30 frame per second mode initially. It looks like uh, that's probably the menu. Okay, so I've adjusted the exposure so that we can see the menu a little better. Now, to start with, let's go to resolution. So, we can see that it's got 4K 30 frames per second. We've got some 2.7K settings, some 1080p, some 720p settings. We've got image stabilization and the gyroscope functions that we can turn on or off. Maybe. Can we turn them off? There we go. Uh, we've got video and code options, H.264, H.265. H.265 is the newer format and it offers uh, much better quality video for the same amount of storage space. So you definitely want to use that if your video editing program can handle it. So slow motion uh, appears to just link back to the resolution settings that offer slow motion. Still photo, not really sure what that means. Still photo time. Time lapse, oh, no, that's, a, that's a cool looking feature. I'll probably try that one out. Loop recording. Uh, I believe that's uh, related to how large the files are. So, for example, if you set this to three minutes, it will start a new file on the storage card every three minutes. External microphone, don't have, but that might be something I want to investigate if I do run into audio problems. Audio record, currently turned on. Exposure value. So those appear to just be exposure compensation values. ISO setting. So that determines the sensitivity of the camera. The higher the number, the more sensitive it is to light. So if it's nighttime, probably put it on 800. Daytime, 100. The lower the number, the better the quality with most cameras. And it looks like that's about it for the settings. So, the next thing we're going to do is try it out, but uh, I've spent enough time on this for the moment, so I'll make a new video and uh, I'm going to test it at uh, 4K resolution and we'll try out some of the features and uh, see what it looks like. So check out my next video if you want to find out how this thing works. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, click the little subscribe button if you found this interesting. The little button that's right down here. Thank you.